When I started using KDP, I uploaded lots of different books in different categories. I sold a few here and there, but not a lot. At one point, I almost felt frustrated and down. But when I looked at other KDP sellers, I wondered what they were doing right that I wasn't. I thought if they can do it, why can't I? Today, I'm happy to say I sold about 4,255 copies from just one book. It's now one of my best sellers. I have a few and it shows up on the first page of Amazon for several keywords. I'm glad I didn't give up and you should not give up too. That's why I'm here for you. In this video, I'll share my three strategies to rank on the first page of Amazon and probably become a bestseller. Now, these strategies are drawn from the practices of successful sellers because I literally had to stalk them to find out what they were doing and apply it to my strategy. Now, these strategies are research, high quality interiors and book covers. The third strategy is book launch. Now, my first strategy is to find the right keywords. I check out the best selling books on KDP to see their unique qualities. It's not just about having nice covers. I noticed that these writers stick to one specific subcategory for all their books. For example, this coloring book with swear motivation words sells around 18 to 23 copies every single day. Now, if we have a look at other books by this author, you will notice that they focus mainly on these types of coloring books. So I decided to step up my game and find a specific niche with high demand and where there's less amount of competition, this is where keyword research comes in. Now I've got plenty of videos where I talk about keyword research and I'll put the links below. But to sum it up, I go to Amazon's search box and type in my main keyword. Then I check out the suggestions that pop up. I'm on the lookout for specific topics that have three or four books using the exact keyword and their sales ranking is 50,000 or less, plus one to two of them have fewer than 150 reviews on the first page. Now, this set of conditions indicates there is a high demand and strong sales potential. Now, after that, I check out the competition, making sure they have 5,000 or less results. Now, if you've got some money to spend and you want to speed up the process, I use a site called BookBeam for my keyword research. I've explained my step-by-step -step process in this video, which I will link below. But to give you a quick overview, I go to the Niche Finder tool and use certain filters to find books by self-published authors that are doing really well. Then I head over to the Keyword Research tool and type in these keywords to check out search results and competition and also discover other related subtopics. Now, I also search for categories related to my book and have the potential for it to rank at the top. I do this by using the category finder and filtering out ones that have top books with low BSRs. Now, this increases the chance of my book becoming a bestseller in that category. My next strategy involves creating attention-grabbing book covers and high-quality content that buyers can't resist. Now, understanding your target audience is key. This allows you to create content that is both high-quality and relevant to them. For instance, if you're targeting kids aged 8 to 10 or teenagers, Resetting the type of content that resonates with them or aligns with their learning curriculum is essential. Now, I examine the top sellers in my niche and study their content, book covers, and reviews. I'm on the lookout for ways to enhance my book. For example, I pay attention to color and image combinations that would appeal to my target audience. If, for instance, you're targeting people looking for a stress relief coloring book, Using vibrant mandalas or other appealing images on your book cover can really connect with your audience. It's crucial to observe what successful books in your niche are doing and draw inspiration from them. I also check the book's lookup section to understand the type of content they are offering. Most importantly, I analyze the review section to identify any gaps or negative feedback that I can address to enhance my book. For images, I rely on platforms such as Creative Fabrica 
or Vectisi to obtain licensed images for my projects. Although these are paid sites, they offer a safer option to avoid any kind of copyright issues. With AI, you can also explore sites like Midjourney, Leonardo AI, or even ChatGPT to help generate content for you. Next, you can create your book covers using Canva. Now, if design isn't your strong suite, platforms like Fiverr or Upwork are excellent resources to find freelancers who can create captivating book covers at an affordable price. Now, honestly, for a successful book, some form of investment is necessary, whether it's time, money or skills. If you lack expertise in a specific area, investing money to fill that gap can be a wise choice. The final strategy is the book launch strategy which in my opinion is the most crucial step in ensuring the success of your book. Now, if you don't set the right course for your book in its initial days, it might just get lost among the thousands of books on Amazon's shelves, even if it has an amazing cover and great content. Now, I've applied the launch strategy I'm about to share to some of my books and 90% ended up on the first page of Amazon, with some even becoming bestsellers in their category within a very short time. To see positive results, you will need to follow each step in this launch strategy carefully. So grab a pen and paper to take some notes. Now, when a new book is launched on Amazon, it receives a ranking boost to help it get noticed. It's like being the new kid on the block. Now, this presents the best opportunity to place our book on the first page for its keyword by taking the right actions. And here's exactly what I do for my book. Now, for the first one to two weeks, I aim to gather around five to 10 reviews for my books. Now, medium content books, unlike high content books, can't be enrolled in KDP Select, which means they don't have the five-day free book promotion available which can be used on platforms like Booksprouse, Freebooksy, Book Sirens, and others to gather reviews. However, there are ways to go about getting those initial reviews for our book. The first approach involves using Facebook groups. Now, seek out groups related to your niche and join them. Engage actively by participating in discussions, answering questions on topics that you know well, and even posting questions. Now, once your book is published, share its cover in the group and ask if members would like a free copy in exchange for an honest review. After receiving responses, send them a free PDF copy of your book and follow up like three to four days later for a review. Now, while this method may seem challenging, it can be highly effective in obtaining those initial reviews. The next method involves a paid option, but serves as my primary source for obtaining initial reviews for newly published books. Now, the platform is called Pubby Reviews, and here's how it works. When you upload your books on the site, review other authors' books to end snaps, and then use your snaps to get your books reviewed. The more snaps you have, the more reviews you can obtain. It involves a cost as you will need to subscribe to a monthly membership, but it's a convenient and effective way to gather reviews when launching your book. Before diving in, make sure to thoroughly research the site to see if it aligns with your interest. If you decide to give it a try, you can use my link below to get 15% off your first month. And if you find you no longer need it, you can easily cancel your subscription. A plus content. Now add A plus content to your book listing page. You might not think this is very important, but trust me, this is a great way to set your book and your brand apart. On your A plus profile, offer a glimpse of your book to potential buyers by showcasing a few pages or talking about yourself as the author. You can even provide an introduction to the book, include information that you believe would captivate potential buyers, helping them understand what they'll get when they purchase from you. Additionally, use this opportunity to cross promote other similar books to potential buyers. 
Now, once you have your five to 10 reviews and your A plus content is live, it's time to run ads to boost your book's ranking on the first page for your keyword. Now, Amazon assesses your book for the first 30 days to determine its relevance to potential buyers. This helps Amazon decide whether to rank your books on the first page for those keywords and maintain that ranking. Therefore, we want to increase our sales as much as possible during this period to help our book rank and stay ranked. First, we need to set a very competitive price, cheaper than other books, which means you might barely make any profit during the launch period. And to be honest, I don't aim to make any profit in the first two weeks because I'm mainly focused on boosting sales to get the book ranked on Amazon. But don't worry, if all the steps are done right, you'll definitely reap the rewards later. Now I aim to run my ads within the first seven days of my launch and continue them for 10 to 15 days. I only use the automatic targeting strategy because with this strategy, Amazon ads display your ads to shoppers who use search terms closely related to your products. I let my ads run without making any adjustments and I found that this strategy works well for my books. There might be other effective strategies out there, but this is what has been successful for me. Now, for the first 10 days, I set a daily budget of $10 and a default bid of around $0.80 cents to $1. This aggressive bid is to give my book a push during this period. Then on day 11, I reduce the daily budget to $5 and the default bid to $0.40 cents to $0.50. Cents, and I run it for another five or so days. Now, in total, I invest around $125 per book to run ads for 15 days. Now, it's important to implement all the other strategies before running ads. Otherwise, the chances of your book ranking on the first page and staying ranked will be very slim. Now, let's wrap it all up. First, identify keywords in high demand with low competition. Then, craft high-quality relevant content to your target audience and design eye-catching book covers. Aim to gather around 5 to 10 reviews within 7 days of publishing your book and create A-plus marketing content for the book's detailed page. Lastly, run some ads to boost the sales and rank your book. Implementing just one strategy without the others may not give you the results that you want. So it's important to apply all the strategies and keep in mind that not every book will rank on the first page or become a bestseller. However, if 20 or 30% of your books are performing well, then you're definitely headed in the right direction. And that's all from me today. I hope you enjoyed my video and found it useful. And if you did, please do me a favor and like, share, and even subscribe to my channel. You can also check out my other videos for more useful KDP tips. But until then, I hope to see you in my next video.